So today we're gonna to be doing another off-season rebuild and I'm actually so surprised that I've not done the raise yet. Not even like in a normal rebuild, I've not done the raise at all this year, which kind of blows my mind because I'm a Rays fan, so that's a little weird that I haven't done that, but either way, we're gonna be doing the off-season rebuild of the Rays, and I think they're gonna have a very interesting off-season. I really don't know if it's gonna be good or bad, but I think they're gonna have a very interesting one, so here we go, let's get into it. So the Rays got a very interesting team. It's like, it's kind of a gang of people that you really would not think would make, you know, any postseason runs. Like, like Yandy Diaz a couple years ago was the bench guy for the Indians. Like, you never expect him to be anywhere near a playoff contending, like, player. Like, same with G-Man joining the Brewers. Like, he was their platoon guy. Like, there's nobody here that really should be a starter besides, like, of course, Kevin Kiermaier, Austin Meadows, all those type of guys. But the rest of the team is kind of made up of misfits, if you think about it. Like, even my dude Travis, like, everybody kind of thought he was written off, like, he was never going to be that great of a catcher anymore. He comes to the Rays, kills it. Absolutely kills it. Eric Sogard from the Blue Jays, like, he was kind of their platoon guy. They were using him quite a bit, but then he comes over, does very good. Like, there's just a bunch of guys here that you'd never expect to be really that great in the MLB. So, I don't know how the Rays do it. They make them super, super good, and I'm all here for it. So, here we go. Let's get into this offseason rebuild. So, if I'm the Rays GM today, the first day of the offseason, I'm saying we have to get a better catcher. Like, in my opinion, I do not think Travis Darno is going to sign back with the Rays. I think he's probably going to want way too much money, so it's really going to be kind of interesting to see what they go with for catcher, because Mike Zanino kind of sucked last year, if I'm being honest. Like, I was really hoping for a lot of big things from this dude, especially like with all the hype of him coming over from the Mariners and everything, but he really just didn't produce at all. Like, this year is a little bit different because it's a sim and not really his real life stats, but his real life stats are a lot worse than this. So catching is 100% gonna be number one for me because they need that fantastic catcher in there. And I think I got a good idea about two catchers that I'm gonna possibly go for. It's gonna be quite a bit, but I'm gonna try to go for him. Like if I'm the Rays this season, I'm spending money. There's no way around that. I'm spending some serious cash. So here we are, the free agent market, we're gonna be doing some work in this thing. So if we're being realistic, Anthony Rendon, we're not gonna sign him. There's really no way to get him. Same with Garrett Cole, but Yasmani Grandal is one guy that I have a weird feeling the Rays could pay a lot of money for. Like, I got a really weird feeling about that. He's got pretty much everything that you would want out of a catcher. He's switch hitting, he's got fantastic fielding, and very good hitting. Like, in my opinion, he's top guy the Rays should go for. And that's honestly just for free agency. There's somebody else on the list, but Yasmani Grandal would be a perfect addition if they're gonna spend some cash. This is probably absolutely insane to think about, but I think Yasmani Grandal is going for 20 million this year. The dude ended up betting on himself last year with like the, what, 18.7 million qualifying offer or something like that. So I feel like he's gonna want a lot more with the bigger contract for free agency. And I think that this is probably what the Rays could possibly give him. And I'm pretty sure this would make Yasmani Grandal the highest paid Rays player in history, which is kind of insane to think about because it's only 20 mil. I think this would be Yasmani Grandal's asking price. I think anywhere between 20 to $23 million would be around there. So if I'm the Rays, I'm giving Yasmani Grandal a hefty, hefty contract. The only issue is I don't know how much money the Rays actually have, so they might not be able to afford it. But let's say they can. I think they go for Yasmani Grandal, and I feel like they possibly could get him unless like the Reds beat him out or something. And to be honest, Yasmani Grandal is probably about it for free agency because I don't think the Rays are gonna have much money to do anything else. So now let's go ahead and go over and move towards salary arbitration. Here we go, baby, let's get this started. So of course, we're gonna have quite a few guys in arbitration. That's just how it's gonna be. That's how a lot of teams actually operate. So there's quite a few guys here. And most of these guys, in my opinion, should get arbitration, except for maybe one or two. So Tommy Pham, of course, gonna give him arbitration. I think he'd probably get closer to eight mil which is kind of nuts, but I think he'd probably get close to eight mil. Chaz Rod probably give him like three mil. Like it's really not a big deal. Mike Zanino, I'm not giving him arbitration. I'm just not going to do it. I'm just going to let him walk. Emilio Pagan, of course, going to give him arbitration. Daniel Robertson is going to be a guy that I really don't know if they're going to keep him or not. The only reason I say that they would keep him is because of those secondary positions. The dude can play anywhere. So if I'm the Rays, I'm keeping him and possibly going to be trading him later. Jesus Aguilar, come on. Of course, we're going to be keeping him. And then Matt Duffy, goodbye, bro. Wave goodbye, everybody. Matt Duffy's gone. Now, with all that done, let's go ahead and sim towards the winter meetings. Yo, what if this actually happens? What if that will be the show kind of predicts this? Washington signs Cole. Oh, my God. Definitely not for that right amount of money, but still, Washington could sign Cole, and there we go, we get Yasmani Grandal. But yo, imagine that. What if they got Garrett Cole? What if the Nationals went out and actually got Garrett Cole? That'd be kind of nasty. Yo, this is actually getting a little bit too creepy. Anthony Rendell going to the Braves. Oh my God. Again, all this kind of stuff could happen. Like, that's the weird thing about it. It could happen. And there is going to be one more guy that I think the Rays should be trading for, but sadly, he's in arbitration, so in will be the show, I can't trade for him. So we got to go through it a little bit and actually go into the season, but I'm going to be 
getting somebody very special in my opinion. So here we go, the opening day of 2020. Let's just pretend we're back in the off season because for some reason I couldn't trade for anybody that has an outstanding contract, which is kind of stupid, but whatever. And this might seem a little bit weird, but if I'm the Rays right now, I'm going for Mitch Hanniger. I mean, the Rays outfield's absolutely stacked. He got Austin Meadows, he got Kevin Kiermaier, he got Tommy Pham, like all these guys. But I feel like Mitch Hanniger could probably be a good DH or you could switch with the Austin Meadows for a DH. So if I'm the Rays, I'm probably trading a little bit of that pitching depth for Mitch Hanniger and a couple shortstop prospects. Even though the Rays really don't need shortstops, but it just made it kind of an evened out deal. So there we go. We're gonna be trading Anthony Banda and Shane over to the Mariners and getting Mitch Hanniger for the offense. That's actually a pretty good deal in my opinion. So there we go. So there we go. That's pretty much all the moves that I would personally make if I'm the Rays this offseason. I don't think they need to make a bunch of transactions, but I think getting these two guys would be super beneficial to the team. So, so now with the additions that we ended up getting, we're going to try to win a World Series. And this is going to be kind of interesting because I really don't know if we're going to be able to win one, but here we go. Let's try to get the Rays their first World Series dub. Let's get it. 15 minutes later. Every single franchise we do, Vladdy gets traded. I swear, what the heck is going on? And it's always to the Mets. Every time. It is always to the Mets. Actually, that's a lie. It's between two teams. It's the Mets and the Braves, but they always give Vladdy Jr. It makes no sense. It's starting to bother me because it makes absolutely no sense. There's no way the Blue Jays would get rid of him. Like, why would they? Anyway, as you guys can see, for some reason, like, we're definitely not doing good. It really doesn't make sense to me, but we're 59 and 52. For a team that's ranked fourth out of everybody, like, I feel this is definitely not the type of team that would be 59 and 52 like it really doesn't seem that realistic but of course franchise is sometimes weird with how like the records go you could have a fantastic team and still go below 500 it makes no sense but what are you gonna do that's just rng sometimes sometimes your team can do really really good and you're kind of crappy or you could be insanely good like the yankees and legitimately get like 77 wins like that's just how it is what are you gonna do but either way but either way kevin kimar doing pretty good like he's really not revered or whatever for his hitting so it's really not that big of a deal Tommy Pham doing very good, even though these two really aren't that far off. So I think Kevin Kiermaier for him is having a pretty good season. Austin Meadows just again, this guy's so freaking good. I hope the Rays actually extend him. I really do, because he's so good. Yasmani Grandal, 20 home runs, 50 RBIs, and a 256. Like that's not bad for a fantastic catcher like Yasmani. Like normally you'd hope for absolutely just insane numbers, but that's just not gonna happen. So Yasmani, I'm down with it, bro, I'm down. We got Willie Adamas actually doing fantastic right now. This guy actually really did good last season. I really don't think he gets all that much praise for but he did fantastic last season at least for like his first full season in the mlb he did pretty good mitch Haniger down here doing very good brandon lau fantastic yandy diaz very good and then nate low eh, you know i'd kind of hope for him to do a little bit better than that but whatever let's go over to the pitching staff now blake snell doing so good oh my god this is why i love this dude he just does so good every single year tyler glasnow definitely not doing as good as i would hope but he's you know not completely horrible yanni chirino say okay yanni strikeouts not really doing the best right now like seven and 11 with a 4.48 definitely not great ryan yarborough though is actually doing pretty good with the 337 okay ryan let's go and then charlie morton doing pretty good what do you know charlie freaking morton baby what a beast brendan mckay holy crap okay yeah let's go ahead and send him back down to AAA. go ahead and bring up jalen beaks oh my god brendan mckay get down there dude what is going on but to be honest there's really nothing for us to do this trade deadline so let's go ahead and just keep it moving let's go ahead and get to the playoffs hopefully because we're 59 and 52 like i said and we're not really looking too great right now but i'm hoping the second half is where we're gonna pop off so honestly just fingers crossed please please get us to the postseason my goodness oh my <laughs> that was easy that was easy there's no way there's absolutely no way i'm done i'm done i'm throwing the hat away i threw the hat away my forehead's too white for it so i'm not gonna worry about it i'm gonna go ahead and get the old hat back okay also, a little bit of a hair reveal. Don't worry about it. Now I feel more at home. That just, it feels better this way. It just feels better. I think flat brim hats are the way to go for me because my freaking porcelain white forehead is gonna shine through the camera and just blind people, so whatever. But somehow we made it into the postseason. We finished off 84 and 78. Like, I just wanna know how the heck everybody else did so bad to where we ended up getting in the postseason. That's what I want to know. Yeah, honestly, I think the rosters I'm using are just completely busted because how the heck is this happening? How did all of these teams do so bad? Like the Indians went below 500. The Athletics went 82 and 80. Like what the? Whoa, 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 whoa. The Twins went 68 and 94. Yeah, something's going on. There's something wrong here. Yeah, there's something really wrong here. The Dodgers went 78 and 84. They didn't even make it in the postseason. You're out of your mind. Now let's remember this, 84 and 78, okay? 84 wins, 78 losses. 
Now I'm going to look at the team and I want you guys to tell me if this is actually an 84 win team. Okay, here we go. Kevin Kiermeyer. I mean, for Kevin Kiermeyer hitting wise, did very good. I mean, the fielding though, just bionic at this point. The guy's so freaking good. Next up, Tommy Pham. I mean, that's pretty good. That's an LB average type stat. I mean, I still think Tommy Pham's an above average outfielder, so he's very good for me, in my opinion, but Tommy Pham did good. Austin Meadows, very, very good. 32 home runs, 97 RBIs, killed it. Willie Adamas right now. Now this is gonna be difficult once Wander Franco actually comes up to the big leagues because I don't know what they're gonna do with Willie. I really have no clue. But either way, up until then, I'm just gonna enjoy what that he's bringing. 27 home runs, 100 RBIs, and a 285. Let's go. Mitch Hanniger as well did fantastic. Like, what are you gonna do there? Yanni Diaz, fantastic. Brandon Lau, fantastic. Grandal killed it. Nate Lowe. Eh, you know, the average was a little bit down, but still, like, he was our secondary first baseman. And then Jesus Aguilar, for him, did pretty good. Like, my goodness, what has happened? Like, some would say it would definitely have to be the pitching, so let's go ahead and take a look. I mean, Blake Snell, over 200 innings, 215 strikeouts, had a fantastic season. Tyler Glasnow, I can see why this would be a little bit scary, but then again, I mean, like, a 4.29 is not absolutely garbage, so not really worried about that. Yanni Chirinos did very bad, to be honest. I really don't know what that happened with him, but still. Ryan Yarbrough, again, the ERA went up a little bit, so maybe it is the pitching that kind of screwed us up but either way let's go ahead and check and see how charlie morton did okay he did very good let's go but yeah these two were definitely not great also charlie morton look at that oh my god why does this game hate old people why my dude went down to an 80 overall he was a 95 at the start just remember that he lost 15 overall points in the span of one year what the heck dog what the heck his feelings are too his fielding's a freaking two. Some might call this cheating, but I'm calling it fixing because there's absolutely no way that Charlie Morton is going to be an 80 overall and lose that many attribute points when he put up that type of stat line. So I don't know what's going on here. Control, get that up because this dude throws a heater of a fastball. Everything else, that's pretty much fine. He should be like a 92. There we go. That's more like it. That's more like it. Like the bullpen just had to be a complete dumpster fire for us to go 84 and 78. Jalen Beeks, garbage. Okay, great. Good to know. Nick Anderson, not great either. Emilio Pagan, I mean, a 4.20 for it's Wani boy. <laughs> not, uh, I don't know, it's just, nothing stands out to me about that really. So, I mean, it's whatever. Colin, bro, what the heck are you doing? A 5.55, yeah, whatever. Alvarado, oh my God. Chaz Rell, fantastic, and then Diego, fantastic. So really, these are the only two guys that did good in our entire bullpen. So I guess I get why we lost 78 games. What the heck? I get it now. All right, here we go. The wild card game versus the Red Sox at Boston. So this is gonna be, we're going into enemy territory, boys. Let's try to get this W. It's gonna be tough. Versus Chris Sale too. Oh my God, okay. Come on, boys, come on. There we go. Got a single and a two run bomb from Tommy Pham. Let's get it, baby. Keep this going. Keep him down a little bit. And that's not what I wanted. Okay, no outs and two guys on base. Come on, please, Blake Snell, get out of this. My goodness. And walk the bases loaded for Rafael Devers. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. What is going on with you, bro? Blake, throw a strike, my guy. You've given up three walks. What the heck are you doing? Charlie, get in there. Maybe not. Oh, my God, another walk. Guys, throw a freaking strike. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh my god. We're gonna look in the walk category and it's gonna be like 27 because they walked 27 batters. God. Okay. Another walk to get the bases loaded. And then double from Ben Attendi. Dope. Okay. Yeah. I guess they just forgot how to be professional baseball players because they absolutely sucked today. I want to see the amount of walks given up in this game for us. I gotta see it. I'm gonna throw up, but I definitely gotta see it. Seven, dude. Oh my god. Seven freaking walks in eight innings. We almost had as many walks as strikeout. Like, what are you gonna do, dude? What are you gonna do there? The Red Sox, congrats to them. They're probably going to win. How much you want to bet? Oh, never mind. The Reds beat the Astros. Oh, my God. Yo. That was easy. <laughs> the Reds, dude. Oh, my God. That's too funny. Okay, let's go into the offseason of 2020 now. All right, here we are once again. It's the Mookie Bets here for free agency. So this is going to be quite interesting to see where the heck this guy lands. But either way, we ended up offering Charlie Morton a qualifying offer. So I hope he's going to take it. But we'll have to see what happens there. We could possibly be losing out on our second best Cy Young. So yikes. We'll see, though. You never know what could happen. But for this year, I think I got to get some relief pitching because my God, last year was kind of embarrassing. So I'm going to try to get Trevor for three years. I'm going to try to get Pedro Baez for three years. And I think honestly, those two are really all we're going to need. I don't think we need anybody else because I feel like if I'm being legit, it's probably a fluke year. Like if I'm being honest, it's probably not going to actually happen over and over again. So I'm just going to go ahead and get these two guys to kind of upgrade a little bit of that bullpen. And then besides that, we're good. And here we are once again, arbitration. I'm just going to go ahead and get everybody. So let's just go ahead and hop back into 2021 
Let's get into that opening day. Same team, different year, baby. Let's go ahead and get this season started. Let's go. Okay, we kind of have a situation here. I got Yandy Diaz and I also got Daniel Robertson at third base. But we also got Wander Franco and he's knocking on the door. He wants in, okay? He just wants in. He's 75 overall. The guy should be in here already. So I'm probably going to trade Daniel Robertson and then have Wander, you know, kind of try to learn how to play third base. So there we go. That's what we're going to have to do. Daniel Robertson, get rid of him for some prospects. And then we got to get Wander Franco up in the MLB. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So I think this is probably going to be the best trade that we can get. So there we go, Daniel Robertson. Goodbye. Thank you for your service, my guy. But here we go, Wander Franco, the future of the Rays coming up to play. Well, third base because Willie is kind of killing it. I'm not going to lie. 314, 13 bombs. Like this guy's going off right now. So Wander's got to to learn how to play third base which honestly in my opinion is going to be 100 fine this guy's the wonder child of the mlb he'll be 100 percent okay also the amount of short stops that we have compared to third baseman is kind of gross like that's disgusting dude oh my god probably not gonna do anything about it but still that is absolutely insane anyway so far we're 62 and 43 we're doing very very good right now so let's go ahead and keep this up and hopefully when the Rays their first World Series. Also, if the Rays ever, and I mean ever, get into the World Series coming up in the next couple of years, oh, you best believe I'm going to every single game of that World Series. I will break any bank account there is to watch them win a World Series. I would 100% try to go to at least two or three of the World Series games. And that's expensive, dog, but that's a bucket list type thing. I mean, you gotta pay for that experience, to be honest. It's the World freaking Series. You gotta go for it. And just like that, the Rays ended up finishing off 91 and 71. Not as good as I would have thought, but whatever. What are you gonna do? It's a lot better than last year. We finished off as a wild card team. We're gonna be facing the Yankees. Okay, all right, not great either. Let's check to see how the pitching did because my goodness, we're gonna need these guys to go off right now in the playoffs. So Blake Snell, fantastic. What do you know? Tyler Glasnow, a lot better than last year. I'm down for it. Yanni? I just sneeze, but either way, fantastic from Yanni Chirinos. My God. Ryan Yarbrough, not as great, but still better than last year, so I'm definitely going to take that. And then Trevor Richards, for some reason, is the fifth, but what are you going to do? I mean, he did all right. But Charlie Morton, once again, oh my God. This game hates old people. What can I say? And I think the MLB's kind of shown that these guys sometimes get better with age. So I feel like MLB The Show should kind of add that sort of thing into the uh, into the simulation type thing. So when you are 37, you don't go Mach 10 down to like 50 overall. So like that's just my opinion. But when your control is 30, when you are only 37, still did very good in the season. That doesn't make sense to me. So again, probably gonna have to give this dude some steroids just to get that overall right back up. And I hate doing that because that's technically cheating. But I mean, this is cheating, to be honest. When you get minus 10s across the board, pretty much, that's cheating. Either way, my blood pressure is probably through the roof. So let's go ahead and relax. Calm down, baby. Calm down, Diego Castillo. Not great. Move on. Pedro Baez, that's a little bit better. Colin Posh, I'm going to have a heart attack. Get this dude out of here. And great. We can't remove him from the playoff roster. Dope. Okay. Well, we're going to have to use them, I guess. Trevor Rosenthal kind of sucked. Going to be honest. Chaz Rell, very good. And then my dude, Alvarado, finally brought it back. Let's go. The lineups. Here we go. Kevin Kiermaier. Fantastic year, to be honest. Let's go. Willie. Absolutely killer. Austin Meadows. Again, very good. Tommy Pham. Very good. Nate Lowe. Very good. Mitch. Fantastic. Let's go. Yandy Diaz. Let's go. The Cuban Hulk over here. My God. Brandon Lau. Fantastic. 30 bombs for Brandon Lau, by the way. And then Yasmani Grindal, very good down there at the end. And then Wander, let's go, even though he didn't get a home run, but still, you know what? I'll take it. A 284, that's very good for Wander. Let's get it, baby. Let's beat these Yankees to the ground, hopefully, because my God, they got a fantastic team. So I'm a little bit worried. Plus we're going into Yankee Stadium. So yeah, New York's not very friendly to opposing guys. So here we go. Let's just try to go in and beat them to the ground. Okay, already two guys in scoring position with two outs for Nate Lowe, come on and ground out. All right, not the best. Not what you want to see. Come on, boys. Okay, Blake's not give up a run, but that's still all right. Come on, guys. We can battle back a little bit. Let's battle back a little bit. Oh my God, Aaron Judge, please, guys. Let's battle back a little bit. What the heck is happening? Okay, we got to get him out of there. Charlie, get in there or not. All right, I forgot you kind of suck. I didn't give you your roids before we started. God dang it. There we go, Lau. There we go. There we go. And a double play. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's written on the wall that this is just not going to happen. It's not happening. Severino threw a freaking dimey dime. What are you going to do with that? There's nothing you can do with that, dude. He went nine innings. And if they don't win, I'm pissed. The Giants beat the Astros. Dude, the Astros keep losing, dude. Oh my God. Get it? Change up. Yo, they banged the trash cans and they still lost. Oh my God. And to make everything worse, bro, Charlie Morton. Goodbye. Goodbye, bro. Oh my God, we lost two beasts. 
Justin Verlander, and Charlie freaking Morton. My God, let's have a moment of silence for both those beasts, okay? There we go. Yep, moment of silence completed. My God, I think Justin Verlander is definitely going to be going to the Hall of Fame, right? Right? Okay. Yeah, don't tell Justin. Don't tell Justin or Kate Upton because that's going to be a Twitter firestorm. But either way. So we're going to be coming up on 2022, the final year of this offseason rebuild. I feel like we should definitely be able to make it past the wild card game. Right, guys? Right? Doesn't that make sense? Yes, not for this game. So what are you going to do? Now, the Rays have been saving money. They've been winning some games. I feel like they probably turn it around attendance wise. <laughs> oh, my God. But still, I feel like they probably ended up doing a little bit better attendance wise just because they got some stars finally. But now we're definitely going to be spending some money. And I think we're going after Thor. Four years, $110 million with the player contract. I feel like pretty underpaid for him. But still, I feel like he probably could take that deal. Let's see what happens. I'm just throwing it out there. There we go. We got Thor. Oh my God. And just like that, I'm going to be seeing you guys at the opening day of 2022. Let's hope that we have a very good season this year. Here we go. Offense still looking very good. We haven't changed it in close to, well, two years now. The starting rotation looks fantastic with the addition of Thor. Now we also got Brett Honeywell and Jose De Leon for the bullpen finally. Let's hope for a good season. We should have a good season. We should win the division at some point because my God, it's taking forever. This is a little PSA out to the Rays GM. Just spend some money, my dude. Just do it. I mean, I know it's going to be difficult, but spend some cash, bro. 75 and 32. Now I get it. We're leaking money. Like we're not doing great money wise, but still. 75 and 32. It's all for that World Series W. I'm trying to bring the first World Series to Tampa Bay. I mean, come on. We got close in 2008. Not really. The Phillies kind of beat us to the ground, but still got so close. I'm trying to get us back there. Actually, I kind of figured out exactly what's going to fix our money issues. Hold on. There we go. Perfect. Got those two guys. Going to ship them away for some prospects. Pretty much, honestly, just spin the wheel, baby. There we go. And just like that, we're back in the green, baby. Let's go. Only $19,000 a week. My goodness. We are in the trenches right now, guys. We are in the trenches. We'll be fine, though. I believe. I freaking believe. And there we go. Finally, a 100 win season and we won our division. Oh, my God. Let's check and see how everybody did. This had to be insane. Actually, before that, I want to check the award. Silver Slugger goes to Willie Adamas. Oh, my God. The American League MVP goes to Austin Meadows. We swept the freaking floor with this. Brett Honeywell is the AL MVP, or not the AL MVP, Rookie of the Year. My God. I'm all over the place right now. The Hank Aaron Award goes to Austin Meadows once again. Gold Glove, of course, Kevin Kiermeyer, and that is it. Oh my god. Yo, Austin Meadows. Holy crap. Dude, I am sweating. Oh my god. 47 home runs, 140 RBIs with a 320. I gotta check out this war. Hold on a minute. A 9.7. Jesus Christ. Then we got Willie Adamas. Just, I'm so glad we didn't trade him away. 324, 32 home runs, 97 RBIs. My god, guys. These guys went off right now. These guys went absolutely off. Vidal is up here now. 85 overall. Let's go. Wander killed it. Oh my God, everything's falling into place. 41 home runs for Nate Lau. Oh my God. Mitch Hanniger, fantastic. Tommy Pham, fantastic. Brandon Lau, fantastic. Oh my God. Dude, I gotta relax. I gotta relax. Just the entire starting rotation was fire this year. Let's go. Brent Honeywell, fantastic season from him. Let's get it. Like, oh my goodness. Let's get this postseason underway. We're facing Boston. Let's go. Won the first game. Lost the second one. Okay, Tyler Glasson versus Chris Sale. Okay? Don't like that. David Price versus Yanni freaking Chirinos. Okay? Since Charlie Morton's gone, I gotta give it to somebody else, and I'm just giving it to Yanni freaking Chirinos. So there we go. That's his new nickname. All right. Here we go. Oh, God. I need Yanni not to give up any runs until at least the sixth inning. Like, that has to happen. There we go. We scored a run. Perfect. Oh, there we go. Kevin Kiermaier. Thank you. But I need Yanni to coast until at least the sixth. Oh, my God. Okay. Bases juiced for the Cuban Hulk. Come on, baby. Okay, pop out. God dang it. I'm gonna give Yanni one more inning, okay? One more. Actually, never mind. He coasted through that, so I'm gonna give him a couple more. Yanni? Oh my god. Yanni? Yanni? Grandal with a two-arm bomb, just kind of sealing it up. Let's go. I'm gonna let Yanni Chirinos just finish it. I'm gonna just let him finish. There we go. Oh my god. Yanni freaking Chirino. Nine innings, five hits, and just absolutely killed everybody on the Red Sox. Let's go. Last game. Blake Snell versus Mike? Mike? What? I'm so confused right now. Okay, either way, we're going with Blake Snell. Yeah, they're actually pitching Mike. Wh who the heck is Mike? He still got out of the first inning, and they ended up taking the lead. What is going on? Mike, please suck. Oh my god, they're actually a grand slam from Rafael Devers. Mike, can you please suck or something? Oh my, okay, yeah, Blake Snell's about to ruin this game. I need Glasnow to get in there. Thank goodness Awesome Meadows coming up. Oh my god, guys. What? Guys. Guys. Okay, yeah. <sighs> 
What the heck? What the heck? Okay, Nate Lowe, thank you. There we go, Yasmani Grandal, bring it in to four runs. Come on. There we go. <sighs> Guys, this is getting too intense. Solo home run. Within one. Within one. Oh my god, we took the lead. It's meant to be. It's so meant to be. Now let's not screw this up. There we go. Oh my god. Nick Anderson, how did you do? You did decent, but you barely even played. Chaz, he did good. I'm bringing him in. Psych, 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 psych so hard right now. <sighs> Dude, are you kidding me? I'm going in right here. I'm going in. I'm going to walk it off. I'm so sick of this. All right, I set the difficulty to all-star. Here we go. Let's get in this. All right, come on, Brandon Lau. Here we are. Two out, series tied up on game five. There we go. Let's up and away. Perfect. Nice luck. Nice luck. Let's go, Lau. Come on, baby. Come on. In front of the home fans. Oh, my God. Come on. You can't do that. You can't hang a change up 111 miles an hour. That pitch was hit. That's looking good. That's looking good. Oh my gosh, that's soaring. That's soaring. It's flying. There's not a star in heaven that we can't reach, baby. Oh my god. High School Musical. Thank you. There we are. Brandon Lau absolutely murdered that ball. Oh my god. Brandon freaking Lau, baby. The first hit of the postseason for him, and it's a gigantic one. Also, how is he not player of the game? I get Nate loaded very good. But I gotta give it to Brandon Lau for that one. Just sending us off with an absolute nuke of a home run. Also, the seventh and eighth inning were by far the most clutch innings I've probably ever had in this game. Now we got Noah Syndergaard versus Lance McCullers. Now we're facing Houston, so this is gonna be difficult. Houston's looking for their third straight World Series appearance, okay? And plus we gotta deal with the friggin' two bangs, okay? This is not gonna be easy. Ryan Yarbrough versus Forrest Whitley. There we go, we lost that. All right, tied up, 1-1. Blake Snell versus freaking Armenteros, and this guy's apparently killed it, so I'm kind of worried for game three, and we won. Okay, shouldn't have been worried. Glasnow versus Lance McCullers once again. There we go, and then Noah Syndergaard versus Francis Martez. Okay, lost that one. Ryan Yarbrough versus Forrest Whitley again. There we are. We're gonna be facing the Nationals in the World Series. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Garrett Cole versus Blake Snell. I forgot that they got Garrett Cole. God dang it. Okay. Blake Snell, Garrett Cole. Figured that. Okay. Noah Syndergaard, Steven Strasburg. Oh my god. Now we got Tyler Glasnow versus Wander. What? Okay, yeah. There we go. Yanni Chirinos versus Garrett Cole again. Hold on a minute. I gotta, I gotta go in for this one. I have to. Are they actually gonna pitch Garrett Cole with kind of low rest? I mean, I'm down, but still, like, what the heck? And Yanni giving up a home run early. Okay, don't like that. Okay, base is juiced. Matt Duffy, I swear to God, don't do it, please. Thank you. Okay. And Adam Eaton again with another two-run bomb. Dude, are you kidding me? And then Garrett Cole's just absolutely mowing through everybody. Can you relax, Garrett? Oh my, it's, it's a no hit. I swear to God. If we actually get no hit, like, what are you going to do? There we go. We got a single. Yanni Chirinos got the single, by the way. Now we got Kevin Kiermeyer. Another single. Willie Adamas. Come on. Double play. Oh, my God. I should have gone in. I actually should have gone in. Now we got Patrick Corbin versus Blake Snell. We need to win these next three games in order to win the World Series right now. Come on. We got Wander Franco leading it off. You know what? Screw it. I'm sending it. There we go. Wander with the walk. And nothing else happened after that. Okay. Also, I want to point out, they got Pete Alonzo, by the way. Like, what the heck, dude? Matt Duffy with the solo bomb. Great. All right. Ryan Yarbrough is pretty much done, I think, for today. Get him out of there. Another one hitter. Pretty much going all the way. And my God, our pitchers suck, dude. Why do they suck so bad? Okay. I really don't get it. Our pitchers are garbage. There we go. Wander, I need you here, my guy. I need you. There we go. Two runs scored. Thank God. Okay. There we are. Another run scored. Austin Meadows right now. I need him. I need him. And he popped up. I think I go in for this one again. I think I have to. Our back's against the wall. I feel like we should be winning this, but our ear right absolutely sucks. Our pitchers are 100% going to lose us this World Series if we cannot get our stuff together. And here we are once again in Washington. For some reason, we got white pants on. I really don't get it, but now we're facing Sean freaking Doolittle. Nate Lowe has not done good this World Series. I'm not going to lie. He only is hitting like a 182. It's not great, so I'm going to need this dude to get a single or something. There we go. Oh my gosh, that was smoked. Bringing it back a little bit. Now we're within two runs. Come on, guys. I did not expect that to actually be a home run, but he smoked that ball. Mitch Hanniger now. All right, I'm guessing probably like a double for Mitch Hanniger. Like, I feel like this dude can hit it hard into the gaps. Okay. Ooh, that was very nice. That was a very nice pitch. Right on the black, too. My God, this guy can locate. All right, come on. <sighs> Thank God I did not go for that. Almost did. That would have been so bad. Doolittle's good. I don't know how the heck I'm going to do this, but Doolittle's freaking good. Okay, that's down the line. There's no way, right? There's no way. Yeah, okay, that's out. 
One soda's under that one. God dang it. I hit it far, but just not far enough. All right, let's go, Tommy. Look how far under that ball I was. My God. All right, my PCI placement's not great. All right, we got the 2-0 right now. We're looking pretty good. There we go, the 3-0. Oh my God, that was so close. Okay, we got the perfect hitter's count, a 3-0. If he can walk him, I'm fine with it. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take it. That was a little too close. Then we're close to the plate. I guess I got to swing for it. Come on. That's it. That's, yeah, you gotta go for it. You have to go for it. Let's go. That's gonna be a double. Now we got Tommy Fam at second base. Oh my goodness. What a clutch double right there. Now Yandi freaking Diaz versus a lefty. Are these guys stupid? Let's have a repeat of the AL wild card real quick. There it is. Oh my gosh. That's gonna go foul though. God dang it. But it's there. That's all that matters. It's there right now. Okay. The power is right there. I'm a little early, but once I get on it, it's gonna be nice. And that was a really good change up. Okay. A little bit, a little bit scared now. Doolittle's gotta relax. Okay. Just relax, my guy. Yandi, I need you to smack this with that maroon bat. Bop, there it is. Go, baby, go. It's gonna be double, I'm fine with it. We are officially within one run. Now we got Yasmani Grandal. Oh my God. I took a big gamble on this dude. Four years, 80 million, and it finally is gonna be paying off. Oh my God, off the foul pole, we take the lead. By the way, we're still an all-star. Like, I don't know why he's pitching so many pitches just on the plate, but we're smacking him. But like I said, we're still an all-star, so I don't know what's going on here. And I think just for the memes, you gotta bring in G-Man Choi. Let's go, G-Man. I'm gonna power swing with this dude. Let's go. Bop. Oh, that's going far. Oh my, that is actually carrying like crazy. Okay, it hit the top of his head. All right, bro. Okay, we're going through with G-Man. Go, baby. Go, get in there. Get in there. Dude, G-Man Choi with a triple. You don't see that very often. Now we got Wander Franco. This could be huge if he hits a bomb right here. Let's get this thing wide open. Oh, that's looking good. And that's okay. Right at the second baseman. God dang it. All right. Now we got Willie back up here. I should not be going for those pitches, but I'm going for him. Willie could do it. He could absolutely smoke this ball. And there it is. Oh my goodness. What is happening right now? They keep giving up these home runs and they keep throwing these garbage pitches. Like to be honest, I'm just waiting on them. Like that one, what are you doing? What are you doing? I mean, I'll 100% take it, but my God, just take the poor pitcher out. Thank you, oh my God. We fully batted around in the top of the ninth. Oh my God, like they're throwing these stupid pitches and we're just smacking them. It's almost like this is backyard baseball again and we're just absolutely murdering the pitcher. And I feel like I gotta do this by now, but real quick, just to verify, if we go down to gameplay, we're still an all-star, okay? We're seriously not cheating. I don't know what they're doing. I really got no clue what the heck they're doing, but they gave up, what, six runs in the top of the ninth? Like, I, I really don't get what the heck they were throwing. They were throwing some absolute meatballs for us to hit. So now let's go back into quick manage and let's go ahead and get this game. Maybe not over with just yet. Now it's over with. Oh my goodness. All right. Oh, I was wrong. We scored seven runs in the top of the ninth. My God. Now I think we bring it back to Tampa and this is when it's going to get good. And this is going to be by far the hardest two games that we've ever played. We got Blake Snell and Steven Strasburg going up for the first game for us at home. Now just wait for game seven if it gets to that point because we got Garrett Cole once again. So here we go, boys. Let's go. Come on. Come on. There we are. Taking the lead early. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. Absolutely murder Strasburg. We scored four runs in the top. Make that five. Oh my, we're hammering it home. We're absolutely hammering it. Our guys are going off right now. All right, I'm gonna let Blake Snell just go ahead and relax because I might use him as a closer for, uh, for game seven if that comes to it. So let's hope that Brent Honeywell doesn't give up this entire game. And it's getting kind of close. Okay. Get rid of him. Nick, let's go, baby. And he gave it up. Dope, bro. Dope. Our bullpen is the worst I've ever seen. I've never had this bullpen be so bad. There we go with double early. Okay. Okay. Bases juice. Nate Lowe. Come on. Come on. There we go. We walked to home. Oh my God. All right. There we are. Perfect, boys. Let's go. I love this team so much. I love this team. Don't give up the game, please. Thank you. Game seven time. Garrett Cole, Noah Syndergaard. This is getting scary. Let's go. Let's go. They scored a run early, but hopefully we can get a couple runs off of Garrett Cole. But I don't know. Yeah, they're scoring early, guys. Come on. Let's get something going. There we go. We scored one. Let's get something going, boys. Noah Syndergaard's not doing good either. There we go. Brandon Lau. Thank you. There we are. Bases loaded. Two outs. Yep. Okay. Couldn't do anything there. We got to take somebody out. I hate bringing in Brandon McKay. I really do. But there's nobody else that we could bring in. Top nine. Okay. To make sure that they don't score any runs, we got to bring in Tyler Glasnow. There we go. Now we have to go into this game. Again, is this cheating? Probably. But I don't care at this point. I'm trying to get my boys a World Series dub. Here we go. Once again, it's too perfect. Something has to happen. That's just big here. There we go. Yandy Diaz. 
just roping it down the line. Game seven, and the game's tied with no outs. Again, I feel like I have to show you guys, we're still an all-star, by the way. Maybe I should up it a little bit. I feel like we have to up it to Hall of Fame because it's a little too, too easy right now. So let's go. Yasmani Grandal, no outs, game tied. Okay, that was a very good changeup, to be honest. 79 miles an hour. God dang. Osmani Grandal could send us home right now with a world with the World Series dub. Don't do that. Don't do that. The hit speed's 106. This game's fantastic in franchise mode. I'll let you guys know. All you guys that play online, even though I just probably struck out right there, how the heck did that happen? Thank you, Brennan McKay, for some reason. Why the heck are you on an umpire? Okay, whatever. There we go, full count. Holy crap. Now we got Kevin Kiermaier coming up after us, depending on what happens. Let's go, Grandal. Come on. Oh, that was out, but I went for it, and that's going to be an out. God dang it. Okay. Should not have gone for that at all. Now we got a lefty on lefty. God dang it. Oh, that's down the line, but that's going to be a foul ball. Oh, my God. Dude, that change up, bro. That change up. I thought that was going to go, like, out here, but it ended up finishing, like, right there. Oh, bro. Come on. Come on. Early and squared up with a hit speed 109, by the way. My God, these guys are on the juice. I'm going to need the type of juju and the clutchness that I had in Nationals Park. Okay, I need that back right now. We had it with Yandy Diaz. I think it might have been that we just had the lefty on lefty. Now we got Willie freaking Damas. Okay, there it is. There it is. In the gap. There we, uh, it's not in the gap. What am I talking about? But that's down the line. We're going to be getting a double. Either way, we did fantastic. There we go. Billy Adamson with a double. That's what we needed. What the heck did I say gap? I don't know. I'm all over the place right now. Austin Meadows. Okay. Lefty on lefty. This could not be a worse situation, but at least we got the MVP of the team right now. Come on. There we go. It's way too inside. Come on. There it is. <sighs> Okay. All right. I'm way too early because that changeup is 80 miles an hour. I'm not used to that. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Drop. Drop. Oh, come on, Byron Buxton. Why you got to be so fast, bro? Oh, my God. All right. I'm letting Glasnow go for another inning. There we go. All right. Now we're back. They put in Zach, the guy that literally gave up like 9,000 home runs in Nationals Park literally like two days ago. So let's just go ahead and let him hang another fantastic meatball for us to smash. There it is. If we're not too late on that, that's gone. But I'm waiting for that nice and juicy off-speed meatball right down the middle. Okay, that's a wild pitch. We're going to be getting into second, though. Thank you. Again, I've said it twice. I'm waiting for that nice and juicy meatball. There it is. Oh, down the line. Go! Go! 38 speed. It's going to be tough. It's going to be close. No, it, he got stuck on the wall. He got stuck on the wall. Let's go! Oh my gosh, we did it. We did it. And just like that, we got the Rays a World Series victory in, what, three years? Let's go, baby. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did, leave a like on it. Subscribe if you guys are new. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Both links down in the description. Let me know what other teams you guys want me to do off-season rebuilds on, and I'll see you guys later. I'm going to enjoy this real quick, okay? I'm going to go enjoy this, but I'll see you guys later. Peace out. And fellas, when you're on the big stage here at the World Series, you want to make sure you bring the A game. And this man right here certainly did. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, you said it, Matt. This is where it matters the most. People are going to be talking about this performance here for the rest of his life. He was on the big stage for everyone to see, and he was the difference maker in the series victory. Back now on the show as we take you through a few of the sights and sounds of the final game of this World Series.
man down on the field will get a chance to watch the presentation of the commissioner's trophy to the new world champs.